Welcome back. We're opening Play Boosters for Modern Horizons 3, and I'm giving away the top hit of the box. So, the reason that I'm doing this is actually because of what we saw with Commander Masters. If you remember, I was opening Commander Masters set boxes when they were super cheap. Boxes were like $260. They were supposed to be selling for $360. And then they crashed all the way down to $260. And I was opening them up on the channel doing little prices pricing out the video pricing out the cards for the videos and I was getting well over three hundred dollars and Now a year later commander master set booster boxes are like three hundred and seventy dollars So I was thinking, you know, these are like two hundred and forty dollars right now Oh, these uh, appear to be Japanese printed so the good stuff's at the front Right, Warren Soul Trader starting off with a good foil there. Volatile Storm Drake, Abstruse Appropriation. All right, Vexing Bobble, that's a good uncommon. Um, I was thinking, you know, if I open this box up, I bought it for, I think this box I bought for like $233. And uh, if I open this up and get $300 worth of cards out of this sucker, I'm going to stock up on these boxes because a year from now, if these are, you know, averaging over $300 per box, these are going to be some expensive booster boxes a year from now once all the supplies dried up. You know what I mean? Winter Moon, rare. No Mythics yet, but we got a nice foil rare. Buried Alive, Pyretic. All right, so because these are play boosters, there's a lot of commons in these. So we'll see how good this turns out. There's how many? 36? Do play boosters boxes have 36? Um, 36, yeah, there's 36 packs in these bad boys. All right, what do we got? Malevolent Rumble. There we go, a Johnny. Very nice. It's pretty good mythic. Not incredible, but pretty darn good. Savine's Reclamation. Witch Enchantment. Alright, for the rest of the stuff I'll just go pretty quick. In fact, through the commons I'm just going to scroll through because there aren't any commons worth more than a dollar. There are a few uncommons worth more than a dollar, but no commons. Foil Mountain, that was... Oh, we got a double foil, that's why. Deceptive Landscape, all right. Crabomination, rare. Deep Analysis, consigned to memory. Marionette Apprentice, there's one of the good uncommons. And then just go quickly through the commons. All right, so a couple good rares. One Mythic. All right, another art card, very cool. Oh, a signed one. I actually keep the signed art cards. Very cool. That is territory color. All right, Idol of False Gods. We've got Polluted Delta, very nice. Even the regular border fetch lands are pretty good. You know, money-wise. Ooh, Unstable Amulet, that's a good uncommon. Curse and Wombat. All right. The, uh... Ooh, another signed art card. Very nice. That one's Cthulhu, right? Cthonian Nightmare? Yeah. The, uh... Gems aren't doing so hot. Now that they got a reprint. Shilgengar. Dreadmobile. Propagator Drone. Alright, so a lot of these packs are just gonna... Not really have anything good, just kind of a man rare, and that's it. So we'll see. Are these worth 240? Are they worth 300? Are they worth 150? We'll see. Ella Damry is how I'm gonna pronounce that one. Not terrible, not great. Invert Polarity, right? Reef Worm, Razor Grass Ambush, Static Prison, Lion Umbra. 
Brian. Ooh, that's a cool artwork. Got foil inspired inventor, null drifter. All right, I'll take it. And oh, nice Urza's incubator. Very nice. Fortunately, they have reprinted that in like Dominaria Remastered, I think. But still a good card. It that heralds the end. Golden Tail Trainer, Skittering Precursor. We've got Foil Triton Wave Breaker, Roshin for the rare, Meteoric Mace, Strength of the Harvest, Etched Slith, Territory Color, Copy Crook. All right. Almost a third of the way through the box. Pretty light on hits, on Mythics at least. Drowner of Truth. We've got Grist, Voracious Larva, interesting. I don't think, oh, I have, I remember now, yeah. Nadir's Nightblade, Hydroelectric Specimen, Charitable Levy, Reiterating Bolt, Collective Resistance. I am Getting a better camera, I'm looking at the viewfinder right now and this seems kind of framey. So I am getting better cameras. It's going to be 1080p, 60 FPS locked in at that rate. So video quality should be improving here soon. All right, we've got Argent Dace, Rare, Wirewood Symbiote, Stump Stomp, Ral and the Implicit Maze, Consuming Corruption, Twisted Riddle Keeper. All right, well, our box is not going great so far. Maybe these aren't worth $300. Let's see, maybe I'll be able to save my money up for a different set. Serum Visionary, Sewing Mycospawn, got Worn Power Stone. Sink into Stupor. I think that one's one of the good ones. I can't remember off the top of my head. Frogmere Enforcer. Tamio meets the Story Circle. Grim Servant. I like that landscape. That's pretty cool. All right, on to the second third of the box. 12 packs down, 24 to go. We're starting off with Foil, Solstice Zealot, Primal Prayers, Rare, and Disruptor Flute. All right, Wirewood Symbiote, Unstable Amulet. Got Territory Color, Spawn Gang Commander. All right, Deem Inferior, interesting artwork there. Looking for some Eldrazi for our box here, or maybe an Ugin's Labyrinth. I think Ugin's Labyrinth may still be one of the top cards in the set. All right, Distinguished Conjurer. We have the Necrobloom for our rare. Solar Transformer, Metastatic Angel, or Evangel. Yeah, Evangel. All right. We have Foil Thriving Skyclaw, Party Thrasher, Meltdown, Razorgrass, Ambush, Null Elemental Blast. That card looks kind of weird. It's like very, I don't know, kind of dull with the artwork there. Seemed unusual. All right, moving along here. We've got Eldrazi Repurposer Foil, Harbinger of the Seas, Victimize, 
Waterlogged Teachings, Ral and the Implicit Maze, Cursed Wombat, Arcbound Condor. All right, still only one fetch land. Foil Kaith for Commander, interesting. Is a mythic, but it is not good. All right, that is not a fetch land. Arena of Glory. I mean, it's not horrible, but it's not great. There we go. We got a medallion, finally. Ruby medallion. Not as good as they once were, but I'll take it. Uh, Golden Tail Trainer. Amped Raptor. Nice uncommon. Dog Umbra. Aether Spike. All right, moving along. Try to get some more fetch lands and some Eldrazi. That would be cool. We've got White Orchid Phantom, not the worst. Cephalid Colosseum. Ooh, an old border on Stable Amulet. The Retro Frame. Bogart Trawler. Tamio Meets. The circle again. All right, so impressions so far is that collector boxes were way more fun. I opened seven of them. If you haven't seen them, go check those out. We've got a foil reform. Ooh, Soren, very nice. Soren of House Markov. Shrieking Drake, Quest for the Necropolis, Consuming Corruption, Ghostfire Slice. Anything cool there? Some cool artworks. Yeah, in the future, I'm actually I'm planning on upgrading my whole system here, so I'm going to have a better camera that's going to be recording the cards. I'm also going to have a face cam and then at some point I'm planning on doing live streams for doing like openings for other people and I'm going to have like a wide angle top down view of like the whole table for that as well. So I'm actually going to have three cameras. Hers is cave. That's a nice uncommon. And I'm planning on having three cameras. I'm going to have to figure out how OBS works because I have never used it and I don't know how it works currently. Upgrading my whole shebang here. Bountiful landscape. Flare of fortitude. All the flares are not bad. Toxic deluge. That one is kind of bad. Fell the Profane, there you go. There's a good uncommon. We've gotten like almost all of the good uncommons that are worth over a dollar. Ethereum Terramander. Took me a second. Arcbound Condor. Ooh, Scurrilous Sentry. Interesting. All right, making our way through. Man, 36 pack boxes are no joke. All right, Foil Island, that's cool. Got Kami of Jealous Thirst. Ooh, Flage, there we go. This card had an interesting story. It's a new card for this set, I'm pretty sure, because it started off, it was only a few bucks, went up to like $30. So this is probably our best hit of the box so far. It's either going to be Flage or Soren, would be my guess. You guys already know, because I'm showing the prices up on screen, but I don't know off the top of my head as I'm recording this. So, yeah, that Flage. Very nice. Another art card. Ooh, that guy has some big old biceps. Look at that. Alright. Dreadmobile for the foil. We've got White of the Reliquary. Priest of Titania, Planar Genesis, Metastatic Evangel, Emrakul's Messenger. All right. Got Tune the Narrative. That's cool artwork with Tamio in it. All right, last pack for the second third of the box. This is pack 
24 if I had split the columns correctly. Oh, there's a pearl medallion art card. Got foil cephalid coliseum. Aphelia, very nice. This card went up and then went back down, but you know what? I will absolutely take a corgi any day of the week. Ophiomancer for the double rare pack. Bogart Trawler, Null Elemental Blast, not bad for an uncommon. Scurry of Gremlins. Yeah, this is totally out of nowhere. Well, actually, it's not out of nowhere because, because I pulled Philia, which is a Corgi. There's apparently a Corgi AI coin for crypto. If you're into crypto, it's worth barely anything, and I don't think it has any growth potential at all. But I just felt like having some, so <laughs> why not? Strict Serenade, because I want a Corgi and I can't have one like the real dog, so why not just have Corgi coin? You know what I mean? <laughs> Breaker of Creation, Envoy of the Ancestors. All right, making our way through the box. We need some more good mythics. Can't have just Flage and Soren. Johnny's pretty good as well, but we need some more mythics here. Something good. All right. We've got a foil rare sewing mycospawn. Hey, there we go. Kozilek. You know what? I'll take it. At this point in the box, I will take any Eldrazi. That is the worst of the three, but hey, I'll take it. Deep Analysis, Eldrazi Ravager, Muster the Departed. I think in almost every box, whether it was a collector box or this play box, this is the only one I've opened, I've gotten an Eldrazi, which is pretty cool. Chthonian Nightmare, not bad at all. We've also got Cursed Mirror. All right, Glasswing Grace, Consigned to Memory, Horrid Shadow Spinner, Reckless Pyro Surfer. All right, moving along here. So, Kozilek, not the best Eldrazi Titan. I think Flage is probably better, even. But I'll have to look it up. All right, Kudo, an old border, that's cool. We've got Worn Power Stone, Fell to Profane again, very nice. Getting some good value out of our uncommons here. Mindless Conscription, Glyph Elemental. Spoke Battle Wagon, Amphibian Downpour, who Arms Chant in Borderless. Got a Borderless Rare from our Play Booster. Grim Servant, Old Border, Phyrexian Ironworks, Kozilex Unsealing. Is that one of the good rares? Amped Raptor definitely is one of the good uncommons. That's what I meant. Kozilex Unsealing. Not sure if that one's one of the good ones. You'll know if it is or not because it would have popped up. If it's worth more than a buck. All right, so what we got here? Jolted Awake. We've got Kudo, Priest of Titania, Suppression Ray, Vexing Bobble. There's a good uncommon. We're getting a lot of these good uncommons. Path of Annihilation. I guess. Just because of the fact that there's so many cards in one of these boxes, they're 36, 14 card packs, so you're gonna get a bunch of these uncommons that are over a buck, I guess. All right, Shattered Landscape, womp womp, nah, do there you go. This card went up pretty well, now it's coming back down, unfortunately. It's back down to only a few bucks, but for a rare, that's still pretty darn good. Distinguished Conjurer, It That Heralds the End, Lethal Throwdown, A Johnny Fells the Godsire, very cool Saga card. 
All right, still have a few packs here. Still could get something good. All right, Cranial Ram, Aether Jolt, Pearl Medallion, our second medallion, Pinnacle Monk, Snow Covered Waste. I think that card might be half decent value wise. Wumpus Aberration, that's a weird name. All right, how many Mythics do we have? So one for Commander and then six from the actual set. Not sure what the average number is for this set. Oh, we've got six. The card, not the number of hits. Uh, Reef Worm, Drowner of Truth, Mog Mob, Undo Not Master, Guardian of the Forgotten, Elephant Warrior. Cool. Sometimes I like to just collect cards that I think are cool, not even because they're worth anything. All right, coming down to the last few here. Ooh, maybe we can pull one of these psychedelic frogs. Those are pretty good, actually. We've got Basking Brood Scale, Spy Master's Vault, not a fetch land. But I think probably a couple bucks. Meteoric Mace. Disciple of Fraley's. Pretty sure that's one of the good uncommons. Dreadmobile. Waste Skate Battle Mage. All right. And then the commons. That's cool. Landscape there. All right. How many packs? Two packs remaining. Can we get something good? Foil Retrofitted Transmogrant. Bloodstain Mire, there we go. Fetch Land. Brings us to two. Barbarian Ring. Uncommon. We've got Jyoti for Commander. That is a mythic, but also terrible. Planar Genesis. Trickster's Elk. Solar Transformer. All right. Down to the last pack. Can we get... A good hit here. Fingers crossed. All right, hydroelectric specimen. This would be the good card here. We've got white orchid phantom. All right. Womp womp, devourer of destiny. So. Not knowing exact prices off the top of my head, I'm going to say I think that collector boxes are better. I mean, they were definitely a lot more fun to open, whether or not you actually got your value out of it. But I think the worst collector box I opened had $380 worth of value, and it was a very below average box. I've had boxes... Collector boxes worth $500. I pulled $500 out of one of the collector boxes I opened, and they're about $412 currently. So, just based off of this, you know, one box sample size, I'd say I prefer the collector boxes to play boxes, actually. So, maybe I won't be investing heavily in play boxes. So, there you have it. Uh, top card of the, uh, of the box top hit of the box will be the giveaway. I'm not sure what it is off the top of my head. You guys will already know. I should pop it up on screen. I think the top three hits are definitely these three. If I had to guess, I'd say Flage or Kozilek. But uh, yeah, you guys will know. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe. I do a giveaway for every box that I open that's on my own dime. Obviously, I don't give away other people's cards. So make sure to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.